Welcome to Club Bremen Spotlight. This is episode two, and we're broadcasting from the Porsche West Palm Beach showroom. I'm Danny Bayard from Bremen Motor Cars, and I've got my pal from iHeartRadio, Larry Podwell, and he's hey, also Danny. the host of Club Bremen Performance Theater. Great to see you. A lot of fun. Love this new segment. Great to see you again. And before we go on with the show, I want to congratulate Deborah Vingiano, who won last week's quiz by guessing the right answers to those questions. And there'll also be a quiz after this program, so make sure you stay tuned. She won a Zuccarelli's Bar and Restaurant gift certificate for 100 bucks. Nice. Olympia's, okay, signed autographed book, the cookbook, and Better the family yet. book of hers. And also four passes to the Palm Beach Zoo. So, Larry, what's on target for tonight? Got another great show tonight, Danny. Uh, we're going to kick off a segment with the Beast. Can you tell me what's the, who's the, what's the, the Beast? The Beast is not an animal. Just because I said the zoo tickets, it doesn't mean... <laughs> I thought it was a segue <laughs> from the zoo. Actually... there's another creation coming? No, you got to go to clubbrayman.com. Go to Club Brayman Magazine, and she's on the front cover of yeah. the latest edition of the Club Brayman Magazine. Uh, does a lot of great things. She's going to be involved with our service director, Chris Huffman, and uh, we'll be doing a bicycle. I don't want to spoil it. Great segment. Look forward to it. What this. else we got, Larry? Summertime, heat, impressive heat, pouring rain. We've got our buddy Freddie Rimroth coming back. He's going to give us driving tips. Uh, he's going to cover hydroplaning, and uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy that segment. Very, very practical for these South Florida roads. Practical and timely. Perfect. Uh, more rain coming up this week. We're also going to do a flashback, a Club Raymond flashback from 2019. Some of the amazing events that we covered at the Club Raymond Performance Theater at iHeartMedia. Thinking of, like looking back at some of the great stuff that we did and what we're going to do moving forward. You know, while you were uh, just mentioning that, all sorts of images of Casino Royale, Comedy Night. We had a lot of it, fun. It, it, it was like a flashback just now. Dougie Almeida and uh, the, just uh, the Latin Nights. We're going to do it again. Great time. We're going to do it time. again. So let's move forward. Uh, Larry, you had a great conversation with a Porsche West Palm Beach customer, uh, Connie McGinnis. So uh, before further ado, let's take a look at that video that you and him recorded. Great. Our next guest is featured in the current spring-summer edition of Club Raymond, the digital magazine. You can catch any time at clubraymond.com. Very interesting type. Real estate by day. Rock and roll mogul by night. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Connie McGinnis. Very nice to meet you, Larry. Hey, Connie, what a pleasure. You know, been a fan a long time. Of course. Uh, great to have you here. Thank you. you. Want to start off with Aerosmith? Want to start off about uh, what goes on at the club? You want to real estate? I want to start Here's off spotlight. about how much I love my Porsche Panamera Turbo. That's what I want to start off club with. Club Raymond <laughs> member as well. Want to talk about the Porsche? We're in now the Porsche showroom. Absolutely. How cool love would that it. be? It is. It really is. I mean, this was one of the most exciting places to actually make your selections and meet up with uh, Mo and his crew to do yeah. what we needed to do. But uh, yeah, I got to tell you, the service, the car, uh, driving a dream. So. Second to none. You Club Brayman members who are Porsche owners know it in this facility now, maybe a year and a half old. Unbelievable. Second to none. So uh, again, this spotlight, the Club Brayman spotlight features yeah. our members. That's right. So. But yeah, we, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting. Uh, everything keeps me busy on a pretty continuous basis sure. there by, as you mentioned, by day. I'm lucky enough to uh, represent a beautiful community and club up in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida here called Old Palm Golf Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is some of the most spectacularly designed uh, and uh, highest quality homes that you'll find almost anywhere. But nice. most importantly, it's truly one of the finest clubs in South Florida, and we got a great group of members. A lot of them here, of course. Uh, oh, yeah. Club, Club Brayman members, of course. But at the same time, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful community. Beautiful spot to to spend your uh, eight and a half hours a day. It's nice. Day at, so. Daytime, you chill. You're out and about. Exactly. And evenings. Evenings. Uh, up. Yeah, we uh, we've got a few things coming up. Uh, the fun part of what I get a chance to do. I don't have enough time for golf or fishing or, or the other fun things we do in South Florida, but lucky enough to be able to continue my passion, which was great. playing guitar yeah, and uh, lucky enough to have run into and met and played with uh, some 
some icons in the, in the music world. And, sure. No, it's fun. Now, your band is Aerosmith. I want yeah. you to talk about Aerosmith, but also Joe and Stephen and Aerosmith. Yeah, it's uh, a, uh, of course, a play on words. It, uh, it sounds just like the same as, as the real thing. And uh, we are Aerosmith, uh, spelled E-R-A-S-M-I-T-H. And our goal is, is uh, we have so much respect for the, uh, for the band that oh, yeah. our goal is, is to just do a complete recreation of their show, uh, their, live, their live performance. And we've got a phenomenal group of musicians that, that back me up and uh, make us look good. And great. very, very good musicians. And uh, we try to make the, uh, the band proud. Excellent, so, excellent. Yeah. Uh, Joe Perry, your buddy, and uh, yeah. you played with Joe and Aerosmith. I've been lucky enough on a few occasions uh, to to actually play with with Joe Perry. Uh, we've That's pretty impressive. A couple of years ago, they had a uh, rock fun fun rock camp out in in Las Vegas, and my uh, wife bought that for me for my wow. 50th birthday. How about that? He said, "You're going," so I went and uh, cool. had a chance to to meet up with Joe and some other phenomenal musicians while you're out there and get a chance to actually play and, and jam with them. And uh, it's a, it was a great experience, Excellent. great experience. He's a, uh, uh, a great man and a uh, one hell of a musician. Uh, so. You guys are tight. And what, a, what a run, 50 plus years of together? They have, yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, they're, that's why they're known as America's greatest rock band, so. Uh, long run and uh, I was just watching one of those, uh, you know, one of those shows. They found the original How about that? vehicle, yeah. one of the vans up in western Massachusetts. From their original and, tour. Uh, it was amazing. And out they there in the middle of the woods. And documented it. And uh, it sure. outside now, what, 40 plus years and uh, rebuilt. Some lucky guy bought it. And uh, uh -huh. it's amazing. The original yeah. touring vehicle. They do the gigs in Boston, go yeah. out to the uh, suburban areas, what have you. Yeah. Not quite the same comforts of, of home that they have today, but it got them around and where they needed to be. Something Cut else. their teeth, yeah. They, they have it on display now out in Las Vegas at the mm -hmm. Park MGM and where, they're, uh, where they've been doing their residency temporarily right now with COVID-19, but they'll be back. It's amazing. We'll yeah. all get back to normal. Uh, we would do a variety of our shows, and I welcome you to come when we reopen the iHeart uh, Club Raymond Performance Theater. Sure. At, uh, at iHeart right here in West Palm. Sure. And uh, we'd love to have a County McGinnis night. No, we'd love to help Eric, out. Bring out uh, Aerosmith. Whatever we can do. Happy to do it. No, it'd be great. We will get back. It'll be uh, this post-COVID-19. We're all itching to, to get back to uh, where we were and some of our great events. But in the meantime, thrilled to have created the Spotlight. Now, Connie, we're thrilled. You brought a couple of these babies here. I hope they're not just props. Any chance we can get you to? Uh, you know, might have to twist my arm, you know. We would love that. What else there is cool better to be? do on a afternoon down at Brainerd Park? Little impromptu at Porsche West Palm Beach, County McGinnis live. All right, great. All right, guys, they're both favorites. Which one do I take? We go with the Joe Perry. All right, absolutely. All right, let's have some fun. You got it. You bring now your rock earplugs. This, rock this joint around. <laughs> Aerosmith, Aerosmith, Club Raymond, right. County McGinnis. Fun. Club Raymond members, we're here at Old Palm Golf Club on a beautiful sunny Florida day to check out Connie McGinnis's day job. You saw what he does kind of like at night. Let's see what he does in day. And we're also going to present him this plaque.
Come on, let's go in. We'll surprise them. So we're inside the Old Palm Golf Club Sales Center, and we're trying to find Connie to see what he does during the daytime. So let's see. As it, wait a minute, I think we got a Connie sighting. Gentlemen. Connie McGinnis, the great Connie McGinnis, by day and by night. Connie, we want to thank you for being part of our Club Brayman magazine, the fall winter edition, online now at clubbrayman.com. And we want to give you a special presentation for that. Thank you, Danny, and everybody over at the Brayman family. I'm glad to be a part of that. And by the way, it was a fabulous, uh, uh, really a great episode with you and the guitar. I didn't know you could play that great. That's it. Well, you know, practice, 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 right? And this is for you. That is fantastic. Wow, you made my day. So <laughs> thank you very, very nice. This is a beautiful piece that you put together. And thanks uh, for allowing me to share some of the things that I do with, uh, with the rest of the Brayman family. You guys do a great job over there. Thank you. Fabulous. And as you can see on the screen, we've got Connie McGinnis by night and Connie McGinnis by day. So uh, you want to tell us a little bit about the sales center? Sure thing. Uh, we're in one of the most beautiful communities in the Northern Palm Beaches, Old Palm Golf Club. And we're very, very lucky here because we have such strong amenities to offer our residents. We offer an extremely high level of services to them as well. And uh, you can't find any better built homes anywhere in the area. So just a nice place to uh, be able to spend my afternoons and uh, help some great people find a beautiful piece of property in our paradise here in South Florida. And then, of course, do the other fun stuff at night. Well, here you go, Connie. You deserve it. You. And uh, with your permission, can we take a little tour of these, uh, these nice little uh, props that you have here? Of course, yes. I mean, basically what you have here in Old Palm is, is as you're welcomed into our, uh, into our on-site office here, you've got some displays that will feature some of the strong amenities within the community, the clubhouse, and then over here, the community itself. So... What we've tried to do here was uh, show and summarize the entire community, which encompasses 651 acres, down to a, uh, a board here, which reflects a, a beautiful Raymond Floyd design golf course, as well as the club amenities, a private practice facility, and 316 of the finest homes you'll find here in Palm Beach Gardens. So there you have it, Connie McGinnis by night and Connie McGinnis by day. So you see both outfits here, right? Nighttime, daytime outfits. Well, there you go. Danny Bayard reporting, Club Brayman Spotlight. Have a great day. Sometime in the future, Danny, we're gonna have a Club Brayman show with Aerosmith. Can't wait, can't wait. Our next feature is the one you've been waiting for, Larry. It's uh, all about the beast. It's going to explain you what that beast, means. Beast, beast, beast. That's right, the beast. Okay. Her name's Kathy <laughs> Petrillo. She's also with our service director, Chris Huffman, and Ali Egger. Roll it. You know, sometimes ordinary actions can really bring people together in ways that it's kind of meant to be. Our next guest, Kathy Petrillo, uh, who is also a competitive cyclist uh, and has a nickname the beast is with us today so can you tell us how that came about yeah the beast interesting because when we think about the beast we think about something negative negative. Um, and i had just come back from new mexico doing some racing and the gentleman who wrote the article about me you know termed me the beast and it's in a cycling world that's actually a really positive thing because when i compete um, i feel like i'm a beast i want to be out there i want to be out front and i want to conquer what i'm doing so that is how I got the name The Beast. So here's The Beast, and then suddenly <laughs> The Beast comes into one of our showrooms of what I understand and met our director of service, Chris Huffman, who's also here with us. Can you tell us, guys, how that came to be? We met for the first time at the bike shop where our crew chief is the manager because uh, we've been doing RAM for three years now. And... Uh, I wasn't really thinking about maybe a fourth year or not, but the challenge, if there was one, was going to have a mixed team, which means we need both male and female. So I stopped by the bike shop to talk to our crew chief, and who was there? Kathy Petrillo. I said, you know what? This is going to be the fourth year in a row, and we're going to go and set a record. And when I mentioned to Kathy that we'd love to have her on the team, uh, she just jumped right away because she is into epic achievements. 
uh, both on AKA, and off the bike. AKA the beast. AKA the beast. Now, AKA the beast. <laughs> for the rest Absolutely. of us that don't know what RAM is, can you kind of explain that? Sure. Uh, RAM is an acronym for Race Across America, and uh, this would have been the 39th year. Uh, June 2020 was going to be the 39th RAM. It's been postponed. It's going to roll over to 2021. So we have our team in place, and we're going to go in 2021. But it's a bicycle race from Oceanside, California to Annapolis, Maryland. So we go 3,069 miles on a bicycle, and with a four-person team, it's a bit of a relay. One of us is on the bike every minute of every day until we get there, morning, noon, and night. And our goal is going to be to break the current mixed record for our category. And I'm very confident we can do that uh, because Kathy is probably going to be the fastest person on the team. <laughs> so Race Across America, in addition to being a race and being very competitive, most of the teams, if not all of them, raise money for charity. And this will be the fourth year in 2021 that we're raising money for opportunity Early Childhood Education and Family Center, which is the oldest charity in Palm Beach County, founded in 1939. So since she was wanting to be on the team, uh, I wanted to get her involved with learning what we uh, do to raise money for our charity, Opportunity. And coincidentally, she has a background in special education. Kathy, tell us about that uh, childhood education thing. Yeah, so I have a master's degree in special education, um, and I also have a child with Down syndrome. So children have always been my love. So when I found out about Opportunity School, I, for me, again, it was part of the destiny that this was meant to be. Because my heart, I'm, I'm not teaching anymore, but you know, your heart starts with the kids and ends with the kids. So when I had an opportunity to go to the school and visit, I realized this is what, you know, what I need to be doing. What impressed you most about that school? The, the love and the devotion. From the minute you walk in the door, you know, I met Allie and some of the staff members, and you can just feel the love that they have. I just felt like I wanted to be part of this. That's fabulous. Speaking of staff, uh, our guest was invited as well from the Opportunity Early Childhood Center, Allie Agger, and you are the executive director of what I understand. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure. Tell us a little bit about the school. Uh, well, Opportunity has been around, as Chris said, since 1939, and um, our, our goal has always been to serve um, the children and families um, that are hardworking in our community um, but happen to be low income, so they face a lot of challenges, and um, we're able to provide quality care so parents can go to work, um, and we're able to meet the needs that um, those families have, um, some challenges and you know, low income brings a lot of things like food insecurity and lack of educational materials and things. So we're able to sort of fill that gap and make sure our children have a great start to their education. And what are the years uh, that a child, from what age to what age? Um, we have children as young as six weeks old. Did you just say six weeks? Six weeks. Yeah, adorable amazing. little infants and um, up through five years old right before they go to kindergarten. This we is incredibly new to me that children at the age of six weeks are actually being educated. Absolutely. In fact, they are learning more every day at that stage of their life than they will at any other age. I understand that there's a fabulous reading room uh, that is there in some kind of Winnie the Pooh uh, <laughs> sort of venue? Um, yes, so we were fortunate to be the first preschool in the country to have a Ben Carson reading room. And this is a room dedicated to independent reading. It has over 1,000 books in it and they can, are rotated regularly. Even the infants and all of the children spend time in that room strictly for independent reading. Um, of course, for an infant, that is assisted with a teacher, um, but they love it. And we have a 100-acre wood theme. Um, and one of my favorite uh, quotes is on the front door, and it's from Winnie the Pooh saying, a grand adventure is about to begin. Yeah. And that is what happens with the lives of the children in our school. And that carries right over to, to Chris and the whole RAM team um, on their grand adventure. Your budget... Uh for the school, where does that come from? What kind of funding do you get from government or local assistance? Mm -hmm. 
Um, the school itself is a private nonprofit, so we do not directly receive any government funds. Um, the funding supplied by the government is awarded to each child or family based on their need, and that's in the form of tuition and food assistance. And the rest comes from? The rest comes from foundations, grants, fundraisers, and amazing supporters like Chris and the Opportunist team. Um, without them, we couldn't do it. So speaking of fundraising, and Allie has a great explanation of where the funds come from, and as I mentioned earlier, RAM has been a significant fundraiser in the past three years, and because of the postponement this year from 2020 to 2021, we were brainstorming and we said, well, why don't we do a kids' RAM? All right, I'm and confused. I Somebody's going to have to explain what kids' RAM is, okay? Allie? Well, Kids Ram is our children's version of Ram. So they've been fans of Ram. They, they follow the team. Um, they learn everything about bicycles and racing, perseverity. It's, it's amazing. And they were looking forward to it this year. And of course, circumstances have changed. We came up with Kids Ram and we're going to make a mini Ram in our parking lot <laughs> um, on tricycles and with the big cheering fans and um, that'll be preceded by two weeks in the classroom of curriculum learning all of the things just talked about things they would normally doing for ram while they're following the team daily um, kathy's even writing lesson plans to use in the classroom with with our teachers and um, it's going to be a great event Sounds like a lot of educational fun. Club Raymond members get involved, and I'd like Allie to tell you how you can do that, and if you have donations or any interest, Allie, where should they go? Yes. Um, the fastest, easiest way is our website, which is www.opportunitypbc, as in Palm Beach County, dot org. Um, there's a RAM donation page, there's a general donation page, you can look through some pictures of Chris and his adventures over the past three years and Kathy visiting the children. Um, you can call us 561-712-9221 um, and however you want to make a donation we're happy to accept it. That's great. So we've got that website uh, flashed on the screen and also that phone number. Read about Kathy, Chris and Ali and the Opportunity Educational Center. Uh, in our Club Raymond sum Spring Summer Edition of the magazine. And speaking of the Spring Summer Edition of the magazine, we've got a little special presentation for Kathy. So Kathy, we appreciate you being involved in our magazine. And this is for you. Wow. Okay, it's your, uh, you'll notice that Kathy is on the cover of the magazine and it's a great article. And it says a lot about Kathy, her meetings with Chris, and also about the Educational Center. So. From Club Bremen Magazine, we wish you all the best. What a great charity. Larry, we're really proud to support them uh, at Bremen Motorcars through the Ram Race Sponsorship. Absolutely. And time to be on your guard, Danny. Driving on these wet roads most afternoons, uh, Porsche West Palm Beach and race car driver Freddie Remrov will share some driving tips with us now, primarily going over hydroplaning. Some good stuff. Sounds good. Let's watch. We're waiting to see whether or not it comes out, and it does. The checkered flag is now waving. All right, and we have Freddie Ramrod holding the victory. Oh, so we're right in the season of hydroplaning, and we're in the rain season. South Florida and the summer months work constantly in rain. There isn't a day that goes by without rain. So with hydroplaning, what we're going to explain is hydroplaning has more to do with that layer of water on the road on the highway that is just unbearable, causes the car to lift up. You get lightness in the steering wheel. Uh, on some cars, you'll feel a little bit towards the rear or a little bit on the front or totally everything. All the wheels and tires are off the ground. You get in a situation like that, one, because really you're not prepared. You're not going slow enough. The other main reason I always tell people is just really servicing up the car. Uh, 
if, if you were in for service, for example, and they tell you you're due for tires in the front, um, that could cost you, those tires could cost you, those two tires, a thousand, seven hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars. That's as much as it would cost in case you were in an accident or just spun it out and touched something on a guardrail or anything on a deductible. When the car hydroplanes, we want to try to go through a couple steps on what to do. Um, the biggest thing that I experience when I hydroplane is you feel that lightness in the steering wheel and the whole car can be lifting up. Now be aware of it, knowing sometimes it is when that service manager told you to change the front tires or the rear tires, but let's just use for example the front tires. If that car lifts up a little bit, you wanna, your pedals, you need to be very smooth. So let smoothly off the throttle pedal that decreases your speed, but when you're off of the throttle pedal, you're putting weight back on the front of the car. When you put weight back in the front of the car, it means you're getting a little bit more grip and you're breaking through the water. But you'll wanna to try to keep, get the speed down. Bottom line is you're going too fast. So if you're doing 55, 65 mile an hour on the turnpike or I-95, just back off a little bit. Go very smooth with it, keep the steering wheel straight, and the car should come back to you. Keep your speed down, go to the next lane over, and just try to go slower. Uh, conditions, you're just driving too fast for conditions. For the back, we're almost in the same feel. If the back gets a little bit too squirrely, let off the throttle pedal. You're just giving a little bit too much throttle. We have one advantage with all the modern cars we have today and everything we sell here at Brayman have probably had traction control for 20 years, I think, and at least. And the traction controls are very advanced. So we very rarely get into a situation where you're oversteering under a hydroplaning situation, meaning oversteer where the tail end comes out. It automatically controls it, but if you see your lights flashing, the traction controls working, back off a little bit. You're just, you're making the computers come on because you're going too fast for conditions. That's basically the bottom line. ABS for your brakes is also a great way to get the car back in control. If you feel like you're going way too fast, give the pressure on the brake pedal. If it's, if it's reacting, giving you kickback in the brake pedal, nothing's wrong. Wait until the car starts to slow down. If it does not slow down, you are definitely hydroplaning because the car is just gliding on the water. Be safe, everyone. Great tips, Danny. Can save you a crunch car or could really save you your life. Also, a great thing about the Bremen Motor Cars lines is that they're all safe cars. They're well-constructed, well-built, but on top of that, we're going to teach you how to drive them real well. Freddie Rimrav is at the Palm Beach International Raceway once a week. Uh, if you purchase a performance automobile from Bremen, you got a complimentary day at the track. Uh, also, four times a year, we've got the autocross, which, te which teaches you how to be a better driver. And if you got teens in the house, please have them come to teen driving to learn how to utilize their car. What else is up, Larry? I'm going to take a flashback and take a look at some of our events from 2019 at the Club Bremen Performance Theater. Brings us back pre-pandemic and just the fun we had. And, uh, and, and we'll you know back. something, Larry? I want to congratulate you because what you've done with that theater, uh, the Club Raymond events, you, Ron, uh, Joseph, Mark, it, it, what a great team. What a great time for our Club Raymond members. Can't wait to get back to it. Club we'll be Raymond back, Danny. Members, bigger and better than ever. It'll be back soon. It'll happen. We'll be back. Let's watch this.
Danny, how much fun. What great memories. I'll tell you. And, you know, being able to see it on the Club Raymond Spotlight and bring it back to you, that's what this is all about. We'll be back uh, to tell you what's on the next episode of Club Raymond Spotlight right after this. At Brayman Motor Cars, we're open for business. And it's time to drive. It's time to get behind the wheel of the car you've dreamed of. And now the savings are historic. You'll never get a better deal than right now. Save thousands on every new or pre-owned car. All with a flexible car buying experience. Including complimentary delivery of your car. The best price and payments available. Like zero down, zero payments for 90 days. And a commitment to excellence in everything we do. Get a better car buying experience your way. Raymond Motor Cars is open for business. Come in or buy online. And get a world class experience. RaymondMotorCars.com. We deliver. Thanks for joining us for Club Raymond Spotlight Episode 2. Can't wait to get back together in person when all this crisis is over with. Larry? Uh, great to see you as always, Danny. Join us for the next episode of Club Brayman Spotlight, and I believe uh, we're going to have a sushi chef on next time. Oh, it's, it's great. So you're going to love that, and you guys are going to love that. And we're going to have Freddie Rimrav back with a driving tip. Freddie. And uh, some nice stand-up comedy, so I can't wait to have some laughs with uh, that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Club Brayman members, stay safe. And stay well. We'll see you for the next edition of Club Brayman Spotlight. <laughs>